It's the end of July. It's 95 degrees out. Hunting season starts here in New Jersey in September. We've been shooting our bows like crazy, but we need a new target. So let's go outside and build one. Why sit inside on the couch enjoying the air? Let's get blasted by the sun. We're gonna use third hand archery target skins. Stay tuned. Well guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little while. Things have been absolutely crazy. I promise you I'm gonna get back on track. This time it's gonna be an archery related video. Kayak videos will be coming soon, but this one's all about archery. So I decided we needed a large target. My son just started shooting a compound bow this year. He went from shooting a crossbow to now compound. He's strong enough, he's 14. He's shooting about 40 pounds now um, and we need a new target. So instead of buying one, I said, hey, I keep seeing things about third hand archery and their target skin. So we got some extra wood. Let's build one. So what we're building today is a 36 by 36 target. Now, this is going to be 12 inches wide. Like I said, 36 inches long. And um, this is going to stop pretty much anything we throw at it. Now, I'm going to show you the target skins we're getting here from third hand archery on one side it's called their tic tac toe target and on the other side it's their animal skins now or animal target so now I'll bring you in a little closer here here we are included in this package are two box target skins and plans to build your own three by three by 12 inch target says it will stop thousands of arrows up to 375 feet per second easy arrow removal lifetime guarantee if through shooting you wear a two inch hole in every aiming spot you take a picture and you email it to third hand archery they'll send you another set of skins for free so why not guys right in this package we have our target skins as well as some instructions here to build your target. Now, I've already opened these. These target skins are awesome. Let's talk about our frame for our target that we are gonna be using. Now, I did have a two by 12 piece of wood. Actually, a 12 foot two by 12. So that's what I used. Now it says a two by 12 or a 12 inch wide target will stop arrows up to like 365 feet per second, which we are going to be well within that range. You can make them a little thinner. You can make them eight inches wide. That's going to stop an arrow shooting a bow of a lot less speed though than my bow will. So it'll probably be enough to stop my son's arrows, but not mine. So we made it 12 inches wide why not so again we have here is a 12 inch wide 2 by 12 it's cut at 36 inches top and bottom 33 inches on the sides which will give you a 36 by 36 frame now i'll bring you in a little closer and show you what i did is i already framed this out and figured oh let me just make a video on it and then we'll jump in and then i'll show you the rest of it so now here we have the frame again like i said 36 inches on top 36 inches on the bottom 33 inches i'm sorry for that bad videoing there 33 inches on the sides now, the one thing I did do is on each corner, I used a three inch bracket with a couple screws just to give this thing a little bit more support and structure in here, as you can see. Now, the next step 
is going to be to actually no what we're going to do is in the top here we are going to cut a hole so that we can fill this up once we put on the skins so let's get into that okay so now on the top of our target we need to cut a hole so that we can get into here to stuff the target once the faces are on so what i did was i took a scrap piece of wood that i had i just laid it up here traced it i drilled out the four corners i'm just going to take a jigsaw now i'm going to go around these lines the holes and this piece will fall out and then we have something that we can use to get access into the inside of our target in order to fill it what i'll do after that is i'll just screw this board this way across this that way it just lays in there this will sit on there nice and flush and then that'll keep this from falling in and from keeping the top of the target covered so let's get into getting the jigsaw and getting this cut out Alrighty guys, there we go. Our hole is cut. Let's proceed to the next step. Alrighty guys, so now on for the next step. What I'm planning on doing to this is I'm going to take some regular landscaping fabric and I'm going to lay it across on here before I put these skins on. Now, I've heard in while reading websites and, and seeing on some forums and stuff that people have said that you could see through um some of the target faces some of the target skins i don't know if it's with third hand archery target skins or not but i'm going to do this anyway just as a precautionary measure so let's the way i'm going to do this is i'm just going to lay it across i'm going to keep it pulled tight and i'm going to put some regular staples in it with a staple gun i'm going to do both sides and then i'll get on to doing the target skins so guys again really easy all you do is you get it on there and very simple you press the staple gun against it and staple it to your frame so as soon as i get that done we'll move on to the next step we've got the black landscaping fabric on now i've removed the target skins here we go this is the tic-tac-toe skin and this is the animal skin now you're gonna have one for each side fits absolutely perfect guys what I wanted to tell you too before I forget is yes I had a 2x12 laying around at home that I was able to use but if you don't you can go to Home Depot, you can go to Lowe's, you can purchase a 2x12, and they'll cut it to the exact dimensions that you want. So that's something to consider. That way you don't have to come home, cut it, and uh, you, know, you can just avoid a step by doing that if you don't have a saw or if you, know, you wanna make life a little bit easier. That way you know you have, hopefully, a pretty straight cut you can get home you can just drill some holes screw the thing together and be on your way really without making this video this probably would take you about an hour from start to finish to do and you have a three by three foot target to shoot at which is absolutely great try and purchase a target that's three by three they're not cheap this can be done pretty inexpensive I know a 2x12 at Home Depot is probably about 35 bucks. Some screws, these target faces are $35 for the pair. So you're talking under $100 and you have a target that's going to last you a long time of shooting. So we're going to staple these on and then we'll be ready to fill it. Now the fun part. We get to stuff this target. Now, the way we're going to do this is I have a bunch of plastic that I got from basically a warehouse that was all going to be getting thrown away. So I have multiple bags of this. So really you can use plastic, you can use um, shrink wrap I've heard people using, I've heard old pool covers. Um, one of the other 
excellent pieces that you can use is actually cloth like clothing and I'm sure if you went through your drawers you probably have old stuff you can get rid of you can go to flea markets you can go to you, you can get it anywhere um, another great idea is if you need to fill up a spot you can go to Harbor Freight and they have moving blankets for like five bucks really if you wanted to use them to fit to fill up some space that's an excellent idea too they'll stop it completely i'm going to go with this plastic for now if for some reason i do not like it i am going to switch it to some kind of cloth material that i'm going to put in here most likely i have some old moving blankets i can use that myself i have old t-shirts i'm sure upstairs so we're going to see how the plastic works if not we're going to go to this we're going to go to the cloth and either one will work great so really now it's just a matter of taking your plastic shoving it in and just packing it in super tight so my son hunter is behind the camera he's going to get his little butt over here and he's going to help me start packing this up so we will see you when it's all packed up i'm going to get us on the move going use again guys you want to pack this in as tight as possible so we're going to get that done um another step i'm going to do which i'll talk about after we stuff this is i want to put a trim around the whole outside of this i don't have trim yet but i will we're going to stuff this full i'm going to let hunter grab his bow real quick he's going to take a couple shots into it to see how it works and that's about it we're going to be done so stick around we will be done with this in a few minutes alrighty guys so there it is filled thank god i had plenty of plastic and on top of it i still put three moving blankets on top of it guys when i tell you this thing holds a lot and i mean a lot of filling inside here whether it be plastic whether it be clothes again this is a three by three foot target it holds a lot it's going to be more than you actually think it's going to hold so I put the cover on I'll show you that real quick on top just again the piece that I cut out a block over top just to hold it I actually screwed the top in place to keep pressure on it from popping up if I ever need to get in there I could just pop out these two screws lift the cover off and we're good that way the handle is installed right here there we go i'll flip this around there it is now what i'm going to do is i'm going to let hunter take a shot and we're going to see how this target handles it so let's get this set up i'm going to get hunter lined up and again don't critique hunter too much he's still a new archer he's been learning how to shoot his bow like I said, he's shooting about 40 pounds. We're going to put him about 10 yards away, nice and close to this. I'm not going to shoot my bow in this video yet. I don't have time. I might get yelled at by the wife. But we're going to get this set up. We're going to get him shooting. And uh, let's see how it works out. Let's see how it holds up. We've got Hunter. We've got Hunter set up here. Let me pick up my screws. He's going to draw back. He's going to aim at that middle dot. Let's see what kind of penetration he gets. Let's see how, how well he can shoot at about, hmm, I'm going to say probably about 10 yards. So let's see. Well, he certainly hit the center dot. Shoot one more, Hunter. Right for that center dot. Hold on one second, I'm going to zoom in on the target. Go for it. Alright, let's go check it out. So, there's Hunter. He is shooting the Diamond Prism this season. And... There you go. Let's see. Easy to pull out? Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to pull this out for him. 
And that's about how much penetration he got. So maybe a quarter of his arrow. Um, he's shooting 27... Uh, 27 and a half. No, his draw length is 27 and a half. And he's shooting 28 inch arrows as well as I am, but mine are a little bit nicer than his. I was gonna walk back and we're gonna let him shoot a couple more. See how it is. Nope, oh, just shoot. Remember, straight up and down with your body, solid anchor point. I hope you were shooting for that dot. I was. I don't know if he was. All right. There you have it. It is stopping these arrows perfectly fine. So I lied. I'm gonna shoot a couple arrows out of my bow. I am shooting the Hoyt Ventum Pro. This is set at, it's maxed out, cranked all the way up to about 68 pounds. This is, it was a 55 to 65 pound bow. Shooting at about 68 pounds, cranked all the way up. I'm shooting Victory uh, V Force Elite Arrows. They are 420 grain. So I'm not sure what speeds we're shooting, but we're going to try this out. By the way, I'm shooting the B3 Omega Pro release this year. Absolutely love it. So let me put a couple arrows into this as well. And we will see what this does. There is Hunter's shot. I'm gonna go for that middle bullseye. Well, <laughs> Definitely stop my arrow too, no problem. Again, we're shooting this at about 10 yards. I'm gonna pick a different dot. I'm gonna pick the top left dot. You go for top right, and then we'll see who shoots better. $5. For $5? Okay. Well, I think I lost. <laughs> let's go. Let's, let's take this camera and go check it out. So I was shooting top left dot. You're shooting top right, huh? My arrow flew weird. Your arrow flew very weird. And, well, I'd say mine's pretty good. Oh, look at this kid cheating. Look at him cheating. Look at him cheating. He can't even cheat well. <laughs> so, there you have it, guys. Again, my bow at about 10 yards. That's how much penetration we got. So guys, there you have it. We did an archery target in July, 95 degrees out, sweating my butt off, ready to go in the air conditioning now. Hunter shot a few out of his bow, easily stops his arrows. I shot some out of my bow. Again, shooting 68 pounds, this is a 420 grain arrow, and uh, stopped it with no problem. Guys, check out Third Hand Archery. Can't wait to shoot this target again. I'm going to put a trim around the whole outside of this target. I'm going to paint it and then it's going to be done. So Hunter and I have another target to shoot at and uh, we're going to be adding some more. We're getting some 3D targets soon as well. Again, this is an archery related video. I know I haven't done a kayak video in quite a while, but we will be back with the kayak videos, I promise. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Any questions you have, leave them down in the comments. I will answer everyone back, I always do. We are going to try and push for a lot more subscribers again. 
putting out a lot more videos like we used to and uh, once we hit a thousand I'm gonna do some kind of a giveaway I'm not sure what it is uh, yet but we will do it for sure 100% so guys please again give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it but I'll see you on the next one thanks for watching